Read that. Daniel 7 and 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And the saints of the Most High are being wore out. The saints are those that have served captivity in all these empires. They're the true saints. The saints didn't get no respect in the Roman Empire, even though they were Christians and followed Christ. They got murdered by the Romans. Okay? They got murdered. And they're still catching pain in this earth. Still being thrown in jail and persecuted unlawfully. Read. And think to change times and laws. And they would think to do what? Change times and laws. So they thought to change times and laws. What, what times? The times contained in the Bible. Switching calendars to try to offset prophecy. Changing laws. Switching the laws of God and telling people in the church they no longer have to follow God's law. The Roman Catholic Church did that. Switching the Sabbath whom the Lord hallowed to himself. To Sunday, the worship of the sun, the S-U-N. The sun connected to the fire or one that come out of the fire, which is Satan himself. Okay? Read. And they shall be given into his hand, unto a time, and times, and the dividing of time. And Jacob, which is the woman, was given into, the, into your hand for a particular amount of time, according to prophecy. But folks, we're at the end of that time. And the Lord is breaking our yoke. He's breaking the yoke off of our necks. And now, it's Jacob's time. And Jacob will receive those promises that was promised to him. Only... If he let go of the gods Esau exposed him to. Give me Revelation 17. Read that. Revelation 17 and 1. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vows, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. So there's a judgment on this great whore. But he's going to show the mystery of that great whore that sitteth upon many waters. This is for those who say that that great whore is just wrong. That shows it's not just wrong because she sit on many waters. She take her Christianity or her brand of Christianity everywhere. Okay, so you just can't say it's wrong anymore. You have to look at what superpower in the earth that have greater power than Rome to know who's the virgin daughter of Babylon and who is Rome today. Read. Verse 2. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. That's the first key. Of whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. What nation is made out of all the people in the earth? Or all the nations in the earth. America is. The fornication it has committed is spiritual fornication. Read. I'm going to show you uh, uh, an example of spiritual fornication that Rome has executed on the earth. Let's start with the Roman sun. Where is he here? I got him. He's here somewhere. Is he over there? The Roman sun. You see him? Oh, there he is. There you go. Cesar Bogier, the second son of Alexander the sixth Pope of Rome, was put up to be Jesus Christ. I need you to grab Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 8 to show you the fornication. The spiritual fornication that came from the Roman Catholic Church. Start at the 8th verse. Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 8. But that which has made his hands is cursed, as well as it, as he that have made it. He, because This is he made cursed. It. Why? Read it. Because he made it. And, and it, because being corruptible, 
It was called God. Being corruptible, this was called God. They put this up to be Jesus. Then they tell you Jesus is God. So they're telling you this guy is God. Read. Verse 9. For the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike hateful unto the Most High. This was hateful unto the Most High. Who did this? God's people didn't do this. Edom did this. Read. Verse 10. For that which is made shall be punished together with them that made it. So those that made it, which is the Roman Catholic Church, which is really the spiritual government over the world, will be punished for its actions. Read. Verse 11. Therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles shall there be a visitation. On all these idols, Zeus, Minerva, and all these different idols they have, there will be a visitation by the Most High God of Israel. Read. Because in the creature of the Most High, they are become an abomination and a stumbling blocks to the souls, to the souls of men. The Lord has said He's going to punish them because their religion and their idolatry have become a stumbling block for those that are seeking the Most High. They'll, they'll look for the Most High and run into a Catholic church and run into a church teaching Catholic doctrine. Or they will run into one of the daughters or one of the harlots that came out of, out of the whore. Read. And they snare to the feet of the young wives. And it becomes a snare to those that don't really know the Bible. Go ahead. For the devising of idols was the beginning of, a, of spiritual fornication. When they started these I, idol worships, it was the beginning of spiritual fornication. Spiritual fornication. That's what this is. Read. And the invention of them, the corruption of life. Go down to the 21st verse. And with this came the corruption of life. Read the 21st verse. Verse 21. And this was an occasion to deceive the world. This was an occasion to deceive the whole world. Who did this? The Roman Catholic Church. And you can't say, well, that was just for that time. This image is almost in every, up in almost every church you can find today. Of a man that was a wicked poisoner. Go back to Revelation 17. Read. Revelation 17 and 2. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. Go ahead. And the inhabitants of the earth have made drunk with the wine of her fornication. And they have made the whole earth drunk with the wine of her fornication. That's what's in your Pope's cup. Show me a scripture where we used to be running around with a cup somewhere. With your head covered. When the Bible says in Corinthians that a man is not supposed to pray or prophesy with his head covered. What's in this cup? Lies. Wine of deceit. Paganism. Idolatry. Read. Verse 3. So he carried me away in despair into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in, in Go ahead. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color. She was arrayed in what? And purple and scarlet color. What color do this guy have on? Is that purple? And the cardinals have on what? Red. Scarlet. Read. And death. With gold and precious, yes. with what? With gold and precious stones and pearls. Go ahead. Having a golden cup in her hand. Having a what? Having a golden cup in her hand. Having a golden cup in her hand. What do that cup represents? Go hold that and go to Isaiah twenty nine and thirteen. Having a golden cup in her hand. Isaiah 29 and 13. Read that. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips, do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and, the fair, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Their fear of the Most High now is being taught by the precepts of men. Now you're not following God according to what you read. 
You're following God according to what the Catholic Church told your churches they could teach.